Okay, guys. So before starting today's video, that is your motorcycle, uh, I would like to ask you a simple question. That is, do you know the equation of circle? Yeah, I know you know it. But for those guys who don't know what is it, that is, to represent any circle uh, in x y plane, the equation is x square plus y square is equals with a square. Okay. And if you draw this in 2D plane, it is something like this. Okay. So let's say this is the y axis and this is the x axis. Okay. So what is the center? The center is 0. And what is the radius? Yes, this is A. Okay. So A is the radius. And you can draw it. Okay, I know it is not perfect circle, but it is something like this. Okay, so this is the equation of circle and today's video is on how to represent stresses in the form of circle or you can say that we will learn everything about the, the famous, the famous, the famous Mohr circle. Okay, I very much loved it. I think you will also love this after watching this video okay so let's start so first thing in the last video what we have discussed that when any element like this one okay uh, let me draw this uh, in bigger format okay because everything is going to be discussed based on that picture only okay so this was the element okay and it was subjected to two stress this was sigma x, sigma x, okay, and along the y axis, it was subjected under sigma y, sigma y, okay, and we have learned that if we have any plane like this, okay, and if the normal of this plane, this one, okay, is making uh, angle theta okay what is the angle here this one is theta what is the equation of normal stress sigma n sigma n is the normal stress and this is the shear stress okay this is the shear stress tau n okay so what were the equations first write down the equation for sigma n okay and it was sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 times cos 2 theta okay and what is the equation for your tau n it was sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sin 2 phi. Okay. By the way, what is the maximum value of tau n? Definitely, it is minus tau max is sigma x minus sigma y by 2 because the maximum value of sin 2 theta is nothing but 1. Okay. So, this is the maximum value of shear stress and that can be expressed as tau max as well okay so now let me uh, do something with this equations okay so let me clear this one okay so you have got the idea of tau max now just i am going to use this equation and i will try to reduce this equation 1 and equation 2 okay into something that can be expressed as circle okay so first uh, let use some notations okay so here we will use this one so sigma x plus sigma y okay so this can be uh, written as let's say sigma average okay and 
also just we have find out that uh, sigma x minus sigma y by 2 that is nothing but the maximum shear stress so let's denote that uh, your sigma x minus sigma y by 2 as tau max okay so now rewrite this equation 1 okay so equation 1 can be now written as sigma n is equals with please repeat with me please repeat with me okay so sigma x plus sigma y by 2 that is what is that yes sigma average okay plus what is this repeat with me repeat with me yes that is tau max any confusion no so next one is cos 2 theta just i am doing ninth standard mathematics it's not engineering it it's ninth standard mathematics trust me okay so and the next equation was this was tau n is equal with uh, sigma x minus sigma y by 2 that can be written as yes tau max time sine 2 theta again i am going to write down an equation that is i think from seventh standard okay uh, what is that that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals with do you know you don't know well you are a very good student trust me this is equals with one okay so sin theta or cos theta cos theta can be written as square root of one minus sin square theta any issues no issues very good so just remove this it's my duty to recap everything okay so rewrite this equation again well tau n okay so just sine 2 theta is coming as tau n by tau max from this equation we can rewrite this now replace this cos 2 theta with sin 2 theta okay so it is coming as let me erase this one they are now of no use okay so now this equation can be written as sigma n is equals with sigma av average well let me use the red color it will be better to keep the same color so sigma n equals sigma av plus tau max into instead of cos 2 theta we will write down 1 minus sin square 2 theta again sin theta is this one okay so we replace sine theta with your this one that is tau n square divided by tau max square okay now bring sigma av to left side that is sigma n minus sigma av okay and it is coming as tau max into square root of 1 minus tau n square by tau max square simple 8 standard math just take the square of both side and you are getting as sigma n minus sigma av whole square is equals with tau max square times 1 minus tau n square by tau max square or tau max square is minus uh, cancel tau max tau max it is tau n square okay so again it is all these stuffs they are of no use now okay if you wish you can take note after replaying this okay so now we have got an equation that can be write down like this okay that is sigma n minus sigma 
a v whole square and plus just bring this tau n to the left side you are getting tau n square is equal with tau max square that's it that's more circle yeah so first let me clear everything then we will discuss further okay so this is more circle you got me this is more circle that's it a simple ninth standard mathematics is known as more circle i don't understand why people hate this topic so much i don't know why this is all about more circle now just put everything in place okay so first you know the circle equation of circle is x square plus y square is equal to a square so one by one first let me draw the coordinate system okay this is x axis okay and this is our y axis i don't know why my vertical lines are always like this okay so this is y and this is x so what is x square so x square is this one and here x means your center has a ordinate x is equal to 0 and coordinate y is equal to 0 from this equation but from this equation the x ordinate is what is this yes this is sorry sigma a v and y is equal to 0 okay so let's say here it is sigma a v okay so sigma a v and y coordinate is 0 what is the radius here radius was a and here radius is tau max let's say this is tau max okay so just draw the circle now and you have got a circle that is known as your moon circle okay so let me draw this more perfectly okay now what is sigma av just put the values that's it yes sigma av is this one so here this is sigma x plus sigma y by 2 that's it now what is the value of this radius this radius is nothing but sigma x sorry let me use this color okay sigma x minus sigma y by 2 that's it okay now let's find the stresses at a plane which is making an angle theta okay with your x axis so here this is the x axis i am making an angle 2 theta okay and we are getting this line okay so this is the line and this is the point corresponding to the stresses okay now the normal stress is denoted by this one this value this is the normal stress okay and what is the value the sigma n is simply let's say this value is up to this center what is the value simply sigma av so sigma av means sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus only this portion this portion what is this value if this is tau max we need the cos component of it okay we need the cos component of this line okay that is tau max means sigma x minus sigma y by 2 times cos 2 theta because this angle is 2 theta this angle is denoted by 2 theta not theta okay 
and now find out the shear stress again and shear stress is denoted by y axis okay this is shear stress and here shear stress is this much what is this this is the sine component of this radius and this is simply tau max times sine 2 theta that's it now if you consider one more interesting thing if you consider this point okay the stress here the shear stress as well as the normal stress that is what is this that is the stress in a plane that is at an angle of 90 degree with this plane okay so this point this point denote the stress or rather i should say complementary stress of this point that's why they are diametrically at opposite position okay clear so this is all about more circle before closing this session i would just like to uh, give you some example of some peculiar questions okay so first let me clean this okay so first example is let's say we have a situation where uh, this is the element and this is subjected to your tensile stress sigma and compressive stress sigma as well you got me okay so if you are asked to draw the more circle it looks something like this okay so what is the center now sigma average here and sigma average if you put simply the value in this equation you are getting as zero because this is sigma positive this is sigma negative because it is compressive so you have now a center of zero at zero okay now what is the radius that is tau max so radius you are getting as sigma x sigma minus of minus sigma by 2 that is sigma so your more circle looks something like this first problem solved second problem okay very quick uh, let's say you have a case where you have only uh, one directional stress like this just consider the first class of strain the material you have only stress in one direction this body is subjected to your sigma stress in x direction so now the circle looks like this this is the center okay so you have a circle that is touching the y axis just simply put the value of sigma average in this equation as well as tau max to find out the radius okay and the last one if you have a particle let's say that is situating underneath of water okay so this is the water surface okay let's say at depth of h you have a body so what is the more circle for this body so first this is under hydrostatic pressure and you know that hydrostatic pressure is compressive in nature and it is same in all the directions okay so simply the center is here what is sigma av this is minus sigma but the radius is tau max is sigma minus sigma by 2 that is 0 so it is nothing but a point on negative x axis this is the more circle rather i should say this is a morse point that's it